What's up guys, it's Muck. Uh, today I want to make a video about what are you supposed to do when you hit 120 and how do you prepare yourself for Mythic Plus and raiding and so on. So let's just dig into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is start the war campaign. Um, the thing this does is to unlock the opposite faction's uh, world quest in the zone. And for Horde, uh, you will unlock the dungeon called Siege of Horalos and uh, if you're alliance, you're gonna unlock King's Rest. Also, by doing these um, war campaigns, you get more followers for your missions. And this is also very good to uh, to farm a lot of reputation and uh, to get an extra income of uh, artifact power. So two of the most important places to farm reputation in the beginning, I would say, is Champions of Azeroth and the Honorbound. Um, Champions of Azeroth is because uh, every time you l level up in uh, the reputation, for, for, for example from neutral to friendly, you're gonna gain 15 item levels on your neck. So this is uh, very important to get a lot of reputation here. And the honor bound is because you need 7.5k uh, reputation into honored in honor to, um, uh, to unlock Siege of Boralos. So what I'm doing here in the beginning is that you can buy contracts. This will increase the reputation gain from every single world quest you do uh, to the contract that you make. So for example, I have I've chosen Champions of Azeroth. Uh, so every single world quest I do, I get 10 reputation for that. It might not sound like a lot, but actually when you do like 30 world quests a day or something, this will actually add up pretty quick. This scroll you just apply once and uh, even though you die or anything you're not going to lose it so the only time you're going to lose this is if you want to change the contract to um, another place to gain reputation. So you want to farm world quests on the opposite faction's zones uh, so you get that uh, unabound reputation so that you can unlock Siege of Boralos as quick as possible. So another thing you want to do is to complete your weekly island expeditions. Uh, you need to fill up the bar here in the top, so you need to gain a certain amount of Azerite inside these island expeditions. You can either do this by completing 7 normal expeditions, 5 heroics, 3 mythic or 3 player versus player. If you want to, you can farm these island expeditions. It uh, gives a certain amount of artifact power depending on uh, the difficulty you play on. Normal will give you 150 artifact power. Heroic 225, Mythic 300, and PvP 300. After you're done with your weekly island expedition, you're gonna get the reward that is 2500 artifact power. So another thing you wanna do is doing a random heroic dungeon every single day. It gives you um, extra 300 artifact power, and um, it's pretty often they need tank or healer, so you get that extra bonus if you sign up for one of those, which is around 100 uh, extra artifact power, I think. Last but not least, you want to do Mythic Zero Dungeons. You can do these once a week, and uh, these dungeons drop epic s ride armor. And this is very good to preparing yourself for Mythic Plus and also for raiding. Um, you want to do this as early as you can, because the, the higher item level you have, the better uh, item level you're going to get out of uh, World Quest rewards. So this is uh, very important to do this. At the moment, Gear can Titanforge to 355 item level until Raid and Mythic Plus is released. However, Azerite Armor cannot Titanforge or Warforge. That's it for this video guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and if you did, consider subscribing. I want to start making more videos like this, so if you have any topic you want to know more about, post it in the comment section, maybe I can uh, make a video about it. Uh, and if not, see you next time.